let's make a black forest trifle and this one is for the adults hello everyone and welcome to cook with melanin a channel where i share my recipes that i cook for my family with you and let's start by collecting all our ingredients so what you will need really is um fresh cream whipping cream about 500 mils of that um and any whipping cream of your choice and then um you will also need a handful big handful of fresh cherries um you will need jelly um i've used a strawberry jelly you can also use a cherry flavored jelly a tablespoon of custard sugar and then um four chocolate chip muffins um and they are gorgeous and then this is the secret ingredients cherry and brandy glaze which is amazing on this trifle what you will do the first thing you'll do is make your jelly according to the um, instructions on the pack i've used a jelly that makes up to 450 mils of jelly and um, the first thing or a tip that i can say is really make sure that you dissolve your jelly in the hot water bit first and that it's fully dissolved before you add your cold water and um, as you can see i am like stirring and then once you add your cold water i've used a cold water that's where you add a bit of ice to it so that it's super cold and it's actually easy for you to or it takes less time not easy <laughs> it takes less, less time for um setting it so as you can see i filled that up to 450 and then you will use your trifle dish um, as i said this one is for the adults so i'm not making a huge trifle it just serves four to six adults um, depending on how much they eat but i think six is sufficient and then um yeah you will set your jelly then um aside take it into the fridge to set aside and it will give you a nice layer once that is setting you will prepare your other ingredients so starting off with the muffins you'll take them off the packaging and you will start slicing them um, and then you'll set those aside just talking a little bit about the jelly the reason why i'm setting it fully is to make sure that the layer of the jelly is defined and it looks actually gorgeous um, and forms a beautiful layer when your truff trifle is assembled and you'll see that later so you cut your muff your muffins as you can see um in half i try and keep them quite big ish because you want your texture to really hold um and that you know you still get the sponge and it's not like all dissolved um and it gives you a nice texture and um yeah um, once that's done you are going to set it aside covered in plastic or you can just use the plastic stick that or the packaging that it came in um use that um and you set them aside then once you've done that you're gonna prepare your cream um your cream needs to be fairly cold you whip that um once it starts thickening you can add then your um, custard sugar to that the custard sugar just gives it a beautiful flavor and it also makes it a little bit more stable um, so you whip your cream until it's stiff pick and then once it's done you take it off um, and then you will uh, set it aside and that's what it should look like um, put it or pour it into a clean um, bowl and the bowl needs to be clean um, and my cream set sits in the fridge covered for about two hours and um, yeah it's stable like that i love to make sure that my ingredients are prepared you know and then it's just assembling later on and it's easy um, make sure that you cover it with a cling wrap um, so that you know it doesn't absorb any water or anything and then you put that in the fridge once um, that is set in the fridge you will start cleaning your kitchen <laughs> so <laughs> clean up and then wait for the jelly to set once it's set you will start assembling so mine took about two hours it's a soft set um, and you will start then adding or opening up the sauce it smells gorgeous um, it's a glaze but I mean you can use it as, as a sauce and then you'll start with your muffins layer them on the side as you can see the jelly is nice and set and your layers are really lovely try not to push it down too much as you can see it, it can actually start sagging in but it won't really sink in if your jelly is um, is set and then um, once you layer your muffins you will add cream 
And um, so this you can do like in the morning if you're serving it in the evening so that your um, your muffins just absorb or even the night before if it's for the following afternoon um, and your muffins will absorb that beautiful sauce and the cream so you add your sauce the cherry and brandy glaze this glaze i must tell you is great for gammon um it's great for turkey if you want to glaze meats as well um so um yeah i use a big spoon for my cream to ensure that i don't smear the sides and you know it's really quick for me to like add the cream on there instead of using a small spoon and that's what it looks like so you keep on layering and the layering is really up to you you can layer um the ingredients up to your liking um you know um it doesn't have to be the same sequence as i'm doing it my top layer of uh, muffins i actually just do it right across to actually get sponge across so that when you scoop it there's sponge everywhere and that's basically what it looks like um and look at those beautiful chocolate chips they add a stunning texture but you can use a plain muffin or even a chocolate sponge eh? you can use a chocolate sponge it doesn't have to be a muffin it's just that i love texture so i don't want it to be too soggy and too soft and then you continue layering all your layers onto um, the trifle and it smells gorgeous and i must say like you won't have yeah you won't have anything left over um the reason why i'm saying this is for adults it's because it contains brandy so if you want to make it for kids you can use a version that does not so you can make your own berry sauce um i don't think that there is a cherry sauce that you can use but there is a berry sauce that i make with honey so instead of this glaze you can use the berry sauce um and you can check my page for that on instagram and then you top it with the beautiful fresh cherries on top and as you can see it's starting to look amazing your cherries can be dipped into gold uh, edible gold dust if you really want to do like a showstopper dessert uh, or go ott and that's what it looks like everybody thank you so much for watching please hit the subscribe button um, if you want to see more of my videos so that you can be prompted um, also um, yeah check out my other videos thank you so much for watching ciao